like, I'm not one of these type of fucking individuals that, like, if somebody fucking disrespects somebody that I fucking know, I'm gonna sit there and act like everything is all fucking cool and cordial and, like, they never did nothing fucking wrong. No, I would sit there and actually address the individual and fucking say something to that individual about it, but I can obviously see how motherfuckers sit there and fucking, you know, go when it comes down to fucking me. Like, I can sit here and be fucking disrespected and I don't get a fucking I'm sorry, I don't get a I'm bad, I don't get a, you know, I never fucking meant to sit there and say that about you or I never meant to fucking sit there and do that to you and then motherfuckers want to sit here and act like everything is all cool and cordial, like, whatever, like, don't, like, don't, don't even worry about it, I'm not even fucking tripping, that just goes to fucking show me as an individual and as a fucking goddamn fucking person how people actually fucking have my back when I'm not the fuck around because like I sat there and said couldn't fucking be me could not fucking be me like I would never allow somebody to fucking disrespect somebody that I fucking know let alone talk shit about them let alone sit there and uh, fucking respect them and then fucking act like nothing fucking happened and be all fucking cool with that individual couldn't fucking be me and it will not ever fucking be me. Like, if I'm fucking cool with you, and fucking I hear somebody fucking disrespect you, or I see somebody fucking disrespect you, I'm gonna sit there, and I'm gonna call that individual out about it, and I'm gonna sit there, and I'm gonna say something about it. I'm not gonna sit there and fucking chop it up with that fucking person and act like they never fucking disrespected you. Like, that just goes to fucking show the true goddamn fucking colors of people, honestly. And it pisses me the fuck off because of the simple fucking fact of I've done nothing but fucking respect the fuck out of individuals, and fucking respect people, and fucking sit there and fucking help people when they've needed my help, but for motherfuckers to sit there and fucking laugh and joke and chop it up with individuals that's disrespecting me to the fucking fullest and I never had gotten, I'm sorry, I never got a, you know, I didn't mean to fucking treat you like that, like, don't even worry about it, I'm not even fucking tripping, you can do you, I'm gonna fucking do me, and when I don't fucking associate with you, and you don't fucking hear from me, and you don't see me fucking message you back, asking you how the fuck you've been doing, or, you know, how things have been going, don't fucking sit there and get all but hurt and all up in your motherfucking feelings, because, like, that's disrespectful as fuck to me. Literally disrespectful as fuck. <coughs> like, I don't know any fucking guy individual that would sit there and fucking do that to somebody. Like, real shit. Like, I do not know one fucking individual that would sit there and fucking do that to somebody fucking knowing that they disrespected you to the fucking core and they fucking talked shit about you and they fucking sat there and fucking made up lies and bullshit about you and then you fucking sit there and fucking just act like everything is okay. Like, be fucking for real. Because I'm not the fucking one. I'm gonna call it out and I'm gonna tell it the way that it fucking is like I feel like that's disrespectful as fuck it's bogus as fuck and it's ignorant as hell to be completely honest with you like I sat there and fucking said I, I would never be any one of these type of fucking people that if somebody fucking disrespected somebody that I knew or talked shit about somebody that I fucking knew or sat there and fucking, you know, lied about that fucking individual, I would never be the fucking type of person to just act like everything's fucking okay. I would say something, I would call them out about it, I would fucking check them about it, but I guess the way that other individuals think about me is basically fuck my goddamn fucking feelings and they don't give a shit about my fucking feeling so it's cool it's gucci i'm not even tripping about it i'm not even fucking worried about it like i sat there and said i know who the fucking people are that actually fucking care about me i know who the fucking people are that actually fucking you know sit there and check up on me and make sure that i'm fucking okay but for everybody fucking else that sits there and fucking thinks that it's cool to be chopping it up with somebody that fucking disrespected me to the fucking fullest no that that's bullshit and then not to fucking sit there and mention, to sit there and cause fucking problems on top of it with individuals, that's fucking disrespectful as fuck to me.
at least I can sit here and fucking say that, you know, I'm fucking goddamn ten toes down, and I keep it fucking real, and I fucking sit there, and I call shit out when I find it a fucking problem, and that to me is a goddamn fucking problem, like, I could never fucking sit there and let anybody fucking disrespect somebody that I fucking know, and then fucking be all ha ha he he with that individual, like, you got me fucked up to the fullest, like, literally fucked up to the fullest, and the other thing that I find fucking goddamn funny and hilarious too and whatnot and everything is, you know, I never fucking did nothing wrong to any goddamn fucking body. I never sat there and fucking caused no fucking problems for any fucking body. I never fucking sat there and fucking, you know, called anybody out their name, no fucking nothing. And it seems like every fucking time I turn around, I'm having individuals and people come up to me that I don't even fucking sit there and fucking know talking about some, oh, well, this is why this happened. This is why this happened. Or I have a fucking attitude or I need to grow up. No, let me explain something. I don't don't have no fucking growing up to do, okay? Within the last fucking three years, I've done fucking grew up, and I'm not tolerating or dealing with people dragging my fucking goddamn name in the goddamn fucking dirt and in the mud because fuckers want to sit here and claim that I have a fucking attitude or that my fucking goddamn attitude is shit. No, my attitude, my added flex on how in the fuck individuals goddamn fucking treat me. Let's get that fucking straight and let's get that clear and let's fucking clear that up real fucking quick. Like, I do not have a shitty fucking attitude. My fucking attitude does not fucking sit there and suck. I treat you accordingly to the way that you fucking treat me, and if you want to sit there and run around fucking town and run my goddamn fucking name in the dirt talking about I have a fucking stank-ass attitude, my attitude fucking fucking sucks, and all this and all that, no, let's keep it fucking real, and let's clear the goddamn fucking air. I don't have a shitty-ass fucking attitude. I got fucking sick and tired of basically basically being demanded and fucking told that I was going to do some shit and I never fucking got asked. I was basically fucking demanded. I don't play that shit. Let's keep it fucking real. Like, like, I'm so fucking goddamn sick and fucking tired of people going around town sitting there saying, oh, well, you know, Stephanie has a fucking shitty ass attitude. Stephanie has a stink ass fucking attitude. Stephanie needs to grow up. No, Stephanie don't need to grow up. Stephanie grew up a fucking lot, may I fucking mind you. Within the last three fucking years, Stephanie grew up a whole hell of a fucking lot. Stephanie's not dealing and tolerating with people's fucking ignorance and bullshit no more. Stephanie does not get fucking mad about shit the way Stephanie used to fucking sit there and get fucking mad about shit. Stephanie keeps to her fucking self. Stephanie doesn't say shit to any fucking body no goddamn fucking more because I'm tired of the fucking drama and I'm tired of the he said she said shit, but I can tell you one thing right now, motherfuckers are not going to go around town running my name in the fucking dirt talking shit about me and fucking sitting there making it seem like everything that happened in the fucking goddamn past was my fucking fault. No, the fuck it was not. We're just going to get that clear real fucking quick, too. Like, I've had, like I said, I've had so many fucking people that I don't even fucking know come up to me talking about this person said this about me, this person said that about me, this person said this about me. I don't give a flying fuck how people fucking sit there and think about me. I'm me, and I'm always gonna fucking be me. If people don't like the fucking fact that I call shit out the way it fucking is, oh well, get over it. I really don't honestly fucking care. I really do not care, because I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat some shit. I'm not gonna sit here and act like this world is made of fucking lollipops and and fucking rainbows when it's not. It just really fucking makes me goddamn fucking laugh that, you know, I was probably one of the only goddamn fucking people that, and still, that keep to my fucking goddamn self, and people always sit there and fucking bring problems my way, or they fucking sit there and have a reason to talk shit about me. Like, no, stop. Please fucking stop, because it gets old after a fucking while. I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm tired of fucking hearing it. And that's why people don't even really fucking hear from me any fucking more. Because I'm sick of it. The only people that I fucking talk to are the goddamn fucking people that sit there and actually talk to me on a daily basis and actually give a fuck about me. Because according to what I've been seeing lately and how some people's goddamn fucking actions are, I can honestly see who really fucking gives a fuck about me and who really don't give a fuck about me. Like, for perfect fucking goddamn example... Okay, I've said it once on fucking live and I'll say it again. Everybody goddamn fucking knows that I've spoken to, okay, and that I'm very close to knows that I had a major fucking leg injury a month ago. 
literally going on two months because if I'm not mistaken, tomorrow's the first of fucking August, okay? Everybody fucking knows that I had a major fucking leg injury going on two months ago, okay? I'm technically not even supposed to be walking on my goddamn fucking leg. I'm technically supposed to be sitting here fucking getting rides if I need somewhere to go or if I have something to fucking do. No. I am tired of fucking people with their goddamn excuses of, oh, I'm busy or we don't have any gas. Well, that's real fucking funny to me because I don't understand how people can be so fucking busy or not have gas, but yet I get up on fucking Facebook and I see fucking people sitting there fucking posting pictures, gallivanting in a fucking goddamn park, doing this, doing that, but you're really that goddamn fucking busy. So for no one, now on, nobody better fucking ask me for fucking shit, and I mean that from the bottom of my goddamn fucking heart. I'm not even playing. Nobody better fucking ask me for shit. The only people that, that I'll do shit for are the fucking people that I talk to on a daily fucking basis. Other than fucking that, nobody better fucking ask me for shit. I have not seen one fucking individual sit there and hit me up and ask me how I've been doing with my goddamn fucking leg, if I'm okay, if everything is going right with me, how I've been doing know nothing except for a couple goddamn fucking people. And you know what? Like I said, I don't do shit wrong to any fucking body, so I'm over it. I'm really fucking over it at this goddamn fucking point. Like, nobody better fucking ask me for shit ever fucking again. I'm fucking tired of it. I'm tired of the I'm busy. I'm tired of the I don't have fucking gas. There's only been one fucking goddamn individual that has sat there and fucking helped me when I've actually fucking sat there and needed help to go somewhere, and that person knows exactly who in the fuck she is, and I'm not revealing no goddamn fucking names, and I appreciate her 110,000 fucking percent, but all this other bullshit of I'm busy, and this, that, whatever, I'm, I'm tired of that shit, and I'm not talking about people that don't have a vehicle, I'm talking about people that actually have a legitimate fucking vehicle that I have hit up, and I have asked for fucking goddamn fucking help, and whatnot, and everything, it just seems like it's one excuse after a fucking another, I'm, I'm fucking over it, and I'm sick of it at this point. You're the fucking woman. You have to work all the time. Nowadays, in this generation and in this world, it takes two fucking incomes to run a household, not just one. So my question is, is why do people sit there and think that it's just okay for a woman to sit there and fucking bust their ass and work all the time and break their fucking back or vice versa. Why does it, why do women think that it's okay for a man to go to work all the time and break their fucking back and not even fucking help them out equally like a 50, 50 fucking partner that doesn't make fucking sense to me does not make fucking a bit of sense to me whatsoever. If you are with somebody, you are supposed to be helping 50, 50, which means if the woman can't fucking go out and get a job financially, then that is the male's responsibility to get a fucking job and help financially. Like, the simple fact of my whole point is you're not going to have your fucking cake and eat it too. Like, if you go and explain shit to people and whatnot, they probably are going to sit there and fucking think, support them in their dreams, in their goals, anything that they want to fucking do in their life. It doesn't sit there and fucking mean be with that individual and just be fucking petty and not deal with the responsibilities or the shit that they've got going on in their life. I've taken a step back a lot from fucking dating because of the simple fact of a lot of people have shown to me and proven to me that you can be the most honest fucking individual that you can be. Hands down, the most honest individual And they will never fucking respect that. And they will never fucking accept it. That is why I have taken a step back from fucking dating. Because I'm not going to sit there and be with somebody that's got fucking seven fucking girlfriends, three fucking baby mamas, fucking probably 20 fucking different fucking purses. If somebody wants to fucking be with me, they're going to have to understand and realize I have children if nobody fucking likes me. I really don't care. But the whole fucking point is, is people are not going to push me the fuck away and treat me like shit and not give me a fair, equal fucking chance because of the simple fact of when I tell you what kind of person I'm looking for, you can't accept that and you cannot respect that. I've sat there and went through the worst of the fucking worst in 2022. 
I was literally a fucking goddamn loyal ass, true ass, down ass fucking individual. Never fucking cheated, never fucked around, wasn't I no fucking goddamn... No, I was a real loyal, truthful, respectful, into fucking visual. And I still got fucking done dirty as shit, which I did not fucking appreciate at all. That's why I sit here and I fucking say, it does not matter. You can be the most loyal fucking person in this goddamn world. You can give your fucking all in a relationship. You can sit there and fucking love somebody to the fucking fullest. And they're still going to have an excuse to do you fucking dirty and bogus. Which I think is a crock of fucking shit. Me personally, as a grown ass individual, individual, and as a grown ass woman, I know what the fuck I'm worth, and I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna be treated like a human ATM. Well, you need to fucking pay for this, pay for that, pay for that. No, it goes both fucking ways, both fucking ways, and that's what a lot of people don't understand and fucking realize third i'm fucking tired of the lame ass fucking excuses when it comes down to a fucking female like me and i am loyal respectful dedicated fucking 10 toes fucking down and i give you my fucking all and i sit here and fucking treat you with king fucking treatment and i still get fucking done dirty for no fucking reason that in my personal opinion is a fucking problem to me literally a fucking major fucking problem to me every relationship i have fucking been in literally and i'm not going to be afraid to say this on live because it's the fucking truth every fucking relationship that i have been in which has only been two i have been the one that got cheated on i never cheated i never fucking did no sneak shit i never went behind nobody's fucking back i wasn't fucking around with anybody I was loyal to the fucking max and gave my all in the fucking relationship. And it's always a fucking excuse. And the lamest excuse on top of fucking that. And it pisses me off because I am a human and a fucking individual like everybody fucking else. I deserve to sit there and fucking be loved. I deserve to have somebody that's gonna fucking treat me the way that I'm supposed to be fucking treated. Me, personally, I would never in a million fucking years be with somebody that does not support me, that does not sit there and fucking have interest in anything that I've got going on for myself, that sits there and disrespects me, that sits there and fucking just does the outright most, or me, personally, I could not fucking be with somebody that gets all up in their fucking feelings over some dumb-ass, petty-ass fucking bullshit. Be for fucking real. Literally be for fucking goddamn real. And I'm speaking true goddamn fucking facts. I, I, I can't. I literally cannot be with somebody that's gonna sit there and be all up in their fucking feelings over some petty ass fucking bullshit and fucking just be petty about shit. Could not be fucking me. I have literally had my fucking heart broken to the fucking core for no fucking reason literally no fucking reason at all and it's irritating and it's aggravating because of the simple goddamn fucking fact of i'm tired of individuals constantly acting like they're mightier than all thou when they're a human just fucking like me i couldn't be with somebody that fucking sits there and has i couldn't be with some fucking body that makes a big goddamn fucking deal about nothing when there's no fucking big deal to be made about fucking shit if i'm gonna fucking be with somebody and i fucking know that that individual has fucking friends or if that individual has a dream or is into fucking something i'm going to be there to fucking support that person I'm not one of these type of fucking females that's like, oh, well, I'm just going to get pissed off about fucking whatever and not fucking support you in anything that you've got going on. No, I'm not that type of fucking female. It really confuses the fuck out of me with a lot of shit that was down for them, dirty as fuck, but then turn around and fucking sit there and fucking people that don't even support a fucking thing that they've got going on for themselves. Literally, not a fucking thing. 
they will not support them. They will not be there for them. They will not fucking be involved with anything that they've got going on. And, and I'm just fucking keeping it real. I'm really keeping it fucking real. Like I said, you can't have your fucking cake and eat it too. You're not going to sit here and fucking tell people what kind of person you're fucking looking for. And then when they tell you what kind of person that they're looking for, you want to get a fucking attitude about it. Or you want to sit there and ghost them. Or you want to sit there and not have anything to do with them. Could not fucking be me. Could not fucking be me at all. And I'm just fucking keeping it as that. It's really fucking sad and pathetic how this goddamn generation of love is anymore. Because it's not even fucking love. A lot of people don't know what the fuck the word love means. Love fucking means when you're with somebody, you're with them through thick and thin and through every fucking problem or issue that they've got going on. Love does not mean, oh, I'm just going to be with you for a little fucking bit. And when one minor small fucking thing happens, you sit there and fucking call it quits with that person or you fucking sit there and move on to the fucking next. That's not fucking love. And honestly and truthfully, a lot of people don't even fucking love the fucking people that they're fucking with. They just want to be with them for fucking attention. Could not fucking be me at all. Couldn't fucking be me. I can't fucking be with somebody just for fucking attention. I couldn't be with somebody just to sit there and fucking do fucking petty ass bullshit just to fucking get a rise out of people.